Hey friends, Ash here. Welcome back to Extra Gent Scents. Hope that you're doing well. Today I'm gonna to be talking about a fragrance that I've wanted to feature for a while now, but just haven't gotten around to. So my bad on that. It is from Montal. It's called Arabian's Tonka. So this one I actually had my eyes on when it was first announced. Thought it sounded interesting, but I didn't get around to even smelling it until earlier this year. I got in some samples of multiple Montal fragrances. I was trying to find some that I hadn't smelled that I thought were nice. And this one stuck out to me. So I was like, okay, let's go ahead and scoop that up. And I've been giving it some wear here lately and I wanted to go ahead and do a quick review. So let's jump into it. So this one has popped up at Discounters. It's popped up at Fragrance Buy. I've seen it at Fragrance Net, but this is uh, one of those fragrances at least uh, so far that seems to sell out and you know you don't know whether it's going to be in stock or not but i have seen it at discounters so i know you can get it there i got mine from twistedlily.com they have it there uh, you can use the code gents10 which is what i did and save yourself 10 percent off use my own code on my own orders that's big brain and i'll link this one down below if it's available at the discounter and also at twisted lily in case you want to check it out so with that out of the way let's go ahead and check out the presentation. So here is the box. It's uh, like all Montal boxes. You know, it's pretty simple. Other than this one, you get a cool picture of a horse there and some trees. So you got the name of the house, name of the fragrance, size and concentration on the front. Nothing up top, nothing on the sides. On the back, you have your ingredient information and your barcode. Here we got the bottle. You have the same design on the front there as on the front of the box. As with all Montals, it is made out of aluminum. You got the size and concentration on the front, and then you have the little Montal stopper there that you put underneath the atomizer to make sure it doesn't spray when you don't want it to. Then on the bottom, we've got our batch code and sticker. And I'll go ahead and waste a couple sprays for you guys. So here we go. It works pretty well. I think that Montal over the years has actually changed the atomizer and made it a little bit wider. So that's nice. You can get a better spray that way. Uh, my old Montal bottles, the atomizer was not quite as wide up top. And also just in case, because I know a couple people out there are gonna watch this and will have never smelled a Montal, never held a Montal. These bottles are obviously not made out of glass. They're made out of aluminum and they're pretty lightweight feeling. So if you buy one of these, don't worry, it's supposed to feel light and no, it's not filled all the way to the top. That's just how they come. And if you get the 50 mil size bottle, it is way smaller looking than this and much lighter as well. I've seen over the years, a number of people say, I think my Montal is fake. You know, it, it weighs nothing. It's, it can't be real and it's not filled all the way to the top. So I think that somebody must have sprayed out half of it. That's just Montals. If you get enough of these over years, you know, that's just how they are. So Arabian's Tonka, how does it smell? Why was it worth picking up? Well, when you first spray it on, it is sweet, very sweet. But I think that's actually a good thing here because uh, one thing Montal is known for is their oud fragrances. This one has oud in it, but more specifically, Montal is known for having screechy oud fragrances, a lot of them. And those scents very often are not really appealing to a huge amount of people. There's definitely a niche of people that love themselves. Some powerful, strong, animalic screechy ouds but your average person you have them smell that and they just turn like their brain turns off immediately and they just go no and so for me uh, not with all of them but i do find a majority of the oud fragrances from montal that i actually like the most the ones that i will wear and wear more than once have something to offset that oud or they don't have that full on screech attack going like screech from Saved by the Bell. So this one thankfully has that screechiness reined in. It doesn't come across that way off my skin at all. It's very smooth and as I said, very sweet. So right off the top, you've got saffron and a decent amount of it. You have this sugary kind of sweetness that settles in pretty much immediately and a heaping dose of tonka and amber. So you have this almost creamy warm, that sounds terrible, <laughs> creamy, warm sweetness underneath that saffron and that woody oud. 
Some people have drawn a comparison to Mancera's Instant Crush with Rabian's Tonka. Instant Crush, of course, being one of Mancera's most popular fragrances out there. Uh, for me, nah, nah, not too close. I mean, the Saffron, you could probably draw that comparison, the Saffron in the opening here and an Instant Crush. But once you get past that, uh, quite different. Although I guess to be fair, some of the supporting notes in Instant Crush you'll find in this as well, like Rose in the mid. But I do think overall Instant Crush is a little bit fresher, not quite as heavy on the uh, sugary sweetness either. Arabian Tonka has more of that. But I did want to bring that up. Uh, Montal and Mancera, obviously these two companies are related and some people have found a bit of a similarity between the two. So anyway, back to Arabian Tonka, how it smells. Uh, once you head out of the opening, you get a little bit of rose that comes in. It's not a jammy rose. It's not no powdery really. And more than anything, it's just blending together with that oud, almost like making that Middle Eastern oud accord sing. It is, to be fair, something that has been done before, saffron, rose, oud. You're getting that here. But instead of leaning more into the rose, which a lot of uh, rose, oud, saffron fragrances do, this one leans more into sugared sweetness and a heaping dose of saffron. That's kind of what they lean more into here. Maybe from the oud, you could pick like a slight smoky woodiness out and, and you would say, okay, well, there's the oud there. As it dries down more, it's almost gourmand because it is so sticky sweet, but in a very appealing way. And this being a Montal, you would expect some great performance. And I gotta tell you, yeah. Yeah, this stuff lasts forever. This is one of those legitimate beast mode fragrances. There are a lot of scents out there that you could say, oh yeah, this is beast mode, it lasts 10 plus hours. And I would say, yeah, that's a strong fragrance. Or you would say, man, I sprayed this on six times and everybody in the room could smell me or whatever. And you go, yeah, that's, that's strong. This is one of those Montal scents that is strong, strong. <laughs> like, oof. One of the ones where you need to understand fully, where am I going? What temperature is it gonna be? How many people are gonna be there? What is the event, you know? Because very easily, if you spray too much, it can get out of control. And do be aware that if you spray too much with this one, it could make your nose just shut down in self-preservation mode. And you'll think, oh, it's not there. It's there, it's there. Don't reapply. Okay, we don't need people passing out and having to go to the hospital. You don't want to be that dude. Wear it a few times, spray it a little bit, see how it works, and then you'll know how much do I need. It lasts forever. It projects monstrously. That's all you need to know. In terms of seasons, winter, also late fall. Not spring, <laughs> definitely not summer. Unless you're just one of those people that, you know, lives life on the edge and you just don't care. Then do whatever. And it leans nighttime use over daytime use because of that sweetness that it does have. So Arabian's Tonka, a Montal that I like a lot, I think actually one of their better releases. You get what you pay for, you get the performance, you get a little bit of that oud, you get a touch, little woodiness, little smoke. You get a lot of sweetness though, so you do have to like that. But I think the sweetness here, all things considered for a fragrance that's this strong, is done pretty well. It's smooth, it's not overly grating, at least as smooth as Montal is gonna be. And I like this a lot. This is a really good one. If you can find this at discounters, of course, that's the move. Uh, if not, you know, and you're unsure, definitely sample first. Or just do like me, get a whole bunch of Montals and sample them because there are some Montals that just don't work for me at all. But then other ones, surprisingly good. And then also, of course, as I said, you can't find it anywhere else. You can hit it from Twisted Lily and use Gents 10. All right, guys, that will do it for me. Thank you for hanging with me. Stay safe out there. Let me know what Montals you like and which ones you don't like. And I'll see you again in another day with another video. See you guys later.